this release was received by the Metro News Desk yesterday, uh, at the August 27, 2024, and as they are working on what well, the minister has visited areas and is also putting pressure on the Ghana Water Company Limited to restore uh, the water supply as soon as possible. We'll get back to him as and when we're able to restore him. And uh, the Minister for Finance, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam, has clarified that contrary to claims that the redesign and expansion of the Kaswa Winneba Highway are being funded by Equus and Government of Ghana, is fully financing uh, the project. The project scope includes the construction of flyovers at Sapato Junction to link the Western Bypass, Big Apple in Budumburam, Ewutu Breku and Akoti Junction, facilitating the smooth flow of vehicular traffic. Additionally, the project will include the dualization of the road. Currently, work on lot one of the project, which stretches from Sapato to Akoti Junction, is 42% complete, according to the contractor. The delay is attributed to a heavy underground rock encountered at the site where an interchange is planned at Budumburam. What is important is what do we do beyond this because we have to go, if it's part of the Trans-West Africa Highway, it needs to get to the border and that is our responsibility. So this is the beginning of, a, the beginning of something that is much bigger and I'm expecting that in a lifetime, we will see it. Engineers have reported that progress on the second phase of the project from Akoti to Winneba has slowed due to the presence of buildings still within the project zone. Some property owners have not yet been fully compensated, whilst others who have been compensated are requesting additional time to relocate. The relocation of utility lines is also contributing to the delay. A few buildings in the way will have to be um, demolished. A lot of them has been demolished, but a few that are standing there, my understanding is that they, uh, they have not been fully compensated. And a few of them too have been compensated, but if I for a little more time so they can relocate. During a joint tour of the project site, the finance minister clarified that the project is being fully funded by the government of Ghana, countering claims that ECOWAS is financing the role. Let me use the opportunity to say that this is the government of Ghana project. I signed the commencement letters <laughs> for this project. It was awarded by the Minister for Roads and Highways and we are funding this project uh, fully from the budget, from the national budget. So it is not an ECOWAS road nor is it funded by ECOWAS. It is funded by the government of Ghana. Roads and Highways Minister Asenso Boache expressed satisfaction with the progress made so far and pledged to address the safety concerns raised by residents and road users. He also announced that government is considering extending the dualization project through Cape Coast to Takradi to further boost tourism and economic activities in the central and western regions. Uh, I know that they've put in place safety measures, but if there are specific issues that the people are not happy about, we are ready to, to address them. We've had similar situation in the Ofanko and Sawam road projects that uh, we see a lot of complaints. Well, we sat down with the consultant and the contractors and we were able to resolve them and, and currently there, there are no issues. If there are specific issues, we are ready to, uh, uh, to, to, to address them.